Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Lords and Villains, which is out today in early access over on Steam. I'll have links down below, of course. Uh, this has been developed by Honestly Games and published by 1C Entertainment. I played uh, a very early build of this one a long time ago, and uh, it has come a long way since then. It, it sort of has like a RimWorld or, or, or uh, you know, medieval colony sim style to it, but uh, it's, it's got a different focus where... We're the lord of this land, and we have different families that come in here. We have like the farming folks, and the, and the millers, and the and the mining people, and we have to we have to build or assign them resources so they can build uh, their houses and and their farmland and their wells and their cauldrons. And you end up building like a town complete with like bedrooms and and kitchens and uh, you know like a proper stocked warehouse. It's it's kind of an interesting thing, and I thought we should check it out. So. Let's start it up here. We're going to begin in the, um, let's go to the lakes, shall we? Uh, what is my name? I am a Lord, uh, Nook, uh, Untinti is my name. I got a fancy ponytail. Check that thing out. Um, oh, yeah, I want to, what, what is that? I will just take a, um, oh my, yes, that is me. Uh, sure, I can change all kinds of things here if I want to, but, uh, really, I just mostly just want, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that'll that do, actually. Put a thing on my head, that'll do. I don't know what happened to my, oh, I can't have a scratch if I don't have a hood. Right, it's okay. Uh, I'm interested in females, uh, and I do have a partner. I'm gonna have a baby as well. Um, let's begin. Alright, so, uh, I am lord of this realm, and I've got a couple families in here with me. So, Lord Nook Untinti, I have bestowed upon you the right to rule over this land. I expect you to take great care of exploiting this land and the richness it has to offer. Should you not succeed, I shall find someone else to take your place and your head as well. Not everyone gets the same opportunity as you, so keep that in mind. All right, thanks, King. Okay, so we're going to pause real quick and take a look at our uh, our world here, which is uh, lacking in stone, I, I noticed. Uh, so anyways, we've got we've got a few families here, and this is where this game separates itself from other colony sims that I have played. Uh, we have m myself, I've got my wife, uh, Mary Beth, and I have my son, uh, nope, my daughter, Margaret, uh, is my family. What do I do? I just sit around and, and tell people what to do. That's what, that's my job. We have the Free Boys. <laughs> uh, we have Griselda and Christopheris are the Free Boys. Uh, or the Fribois, whatever they are. Um, they are the farming family. You can see they have skills in farming. They also have gear they can pick up along the way. So we will assign them a house. We'll give them far uh, fields, and we'll tell them, do the farming stuff. We also have the Marquette family, who are the foragers here. And um, we will, you know, make sure they are doing some foraging things. Uh, in my game I was playing before, I started with a third family, which is the, uh, the fisher folk. And I had to give them a, a place. Anyway, we're going to start this thing off by giving ourselves some zones. You can see there's different zones. And the way this sort of works is we... Well, I'll just do it and I'll show it. Just give a household. So we have the, the free boys who were the farming people. We'll give them a nice plot of land like uh, like right here. So here's going to be their house. It's going to be kind of big. Um, actually, big question here. How many people are in that family? There's two of them and there are two foragers as well so let's go make sure it doesn't have to be a giant house because there's only two of them but we'll put a couple of those in there we'll do like a little bit of uh i don't know a dog leg what do you call that with a house eh, whatever it is well, that, we're gonna have that for their house um and we'll put in walls and things we'll go ahead and do that now let's put a wall up we'll give them just some hay walls you know nothing fancy here um let's go with like our front door can be over there i'll build my house here in a minute i didn't mean to do that let's go back over this way we'll have just a wall sort of on the outside here and let's remove that one. Uh, whoops, uh, that one. And we'll put a door in. It takes a little, a little bit to get started. It takes like, a long time actually to get it started because all these things in here are things that can go in the house and the kind of things that they're going to want in the house. They're going to want beds. They're going to cooking table. They want a well around. They want chests. All that kind of stuff. They're going to want eventually. Um, I'm going to mark a few things out and just get things started for right now, and especially a bed. There's two of them there. I'll give them a nice straw bed here, and we'll set up. This is the front door, so we'll set the bed up, bedroom back over this way. That's actually fine. I think just cram it in the wall over there. Um, and then we have to go over here, and we can say, who owns this house? This is supposed to belong to the farming people, which is Griselda here, who I guess is the, uh, the head of household here or whatever. Uh, we're going to say, there you go. Uh, there is taxes she will be paying. They will be paying as, as time goes on. Um, which is like once a season. Um, and they're going to go ahead and get to work. Now, another thing we have to do also is 
they're going to run this place, but we have to sort of like allow them to to use the materials that I own. This, this is my land, and I'm allowing them to to park themselves on there and build a house, build a farm, all that kind of stuff. They just pay taxes, uh, and they can buy things from me as I choose. I can also grant them things. So say, you know, you guys want some planks? I'll give you a few planks so that you can, you know, build a bed or whatever. I'll give you a little bit of wood. You can have like 25 wood. There you go. Um, and we can also give them, uh, they really need some straw. So I'll give them like 100 straw that they can have to go and help assist in the, in the in the house building and all that. And, you know, making a bed and all that. So they also, they do have an inventory themselves. Um, there's Marybeth. Oh, it's me. Look, I'm helping them out. What a nice guy I am. Uh, also, another important part, they, they need a farm. So we're going to go ahead and assign them a farmland here. And we're going to stack this thing up. I think we're going to do like... Let's do this. We'll do a field there, and we'll do a field there. Um, again, we have to sign it to them. This is this is your field. Do something with it. Uh, and then same thing over here. We're going to assign this to them. Again, it takes a long time to get things set up, but once you get things set up, it kind of starts moving, and it it's a weird thing to say, but it's almost like I'm... I feel like I'm sort of playing a... Sort of like a, like a Stardew Valley. But... I am making the Stardew Valley. If that makes if that makes any sense. Um, I don't think it does, but yeah, you know, there you go. Uh, let's go something like like that, um, and let's give them a, 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 a gate. I did a gate, gate. Which will go in. That's not a gate. A, a gate. Which will go in like right there and there. Oops, I missed that one. Double gate and one there, and I probably should have one on this side too. Lots of gates. There we go. Thing in here. Now, what are they going to put here? Um, I'm going to have you be... There's a lot of stuff. I went through the tutorial, but it's still kind of confusing. But I want them to make sure they grow... We can have them grow wheat. Basically, this is the ratio. They're not going to build anything else but wheat, which is fine with me. Uh, and then the other one we're going to say is here. I guess we're out of season for the wheat right now. Uh, we're going to put in some carrots. We could also put animals in here, which we'll do that also. But we'll make sure they do carrots here, not wheat. And then... Um, we want to go and say, um, make some farming soil. So put some soil down, put your uh, your your stuff down, and get to work. Now these are the free boys; they've got it. Um, and I realize it's a Fabois. I just you know, it's a funny little joke that I tell myself. Uh, but but they're gonna put that in there and get to work. Uh, you know, farming and doing their thing. And I kind of just leave them alone. I I provide them. I build their house. We can put different rooms in here if we choose to. But for right now, it's just gonna be that. And then we have to work on the other guys, which are uh, who? The uh, the Marquettes, who are my foragers. So they need, they want to be near the forest. They do foresty things. So we're going to put them, I guess, like right up here. It's probably fine. Like right on the edge of the forest. That's kind of a cool place. I'll build my house also, a manor, because um, I'm a king, you know. Uh, so let's go something like this, and we'll do, you know, just uh, whatever. They're going to start sleeping on the ground here. Um, you know, that's, that's actually a decent-sized house, I think. Um, let's put in a wall. I'm going to stick with hay because I've got a lot. I think I have a lot of hay. I have straw. I actually don't have a lot of hay. On my tutorial game, I started with a lot of hay. I don't have a lot of hay here. So we'll build it out of, out of, uh, out of I guess, out of wood. It takes two wood for that thing. A cob is six rods. I don't have any rods. Um, all right, I'm just going to put that down there. I'm going to give you guys a job first, and then I'll build your house. So this is the Royal Forest. I'm going to put that like... Right over here. Um, you know what I could do? I could say like, because we're gonna put like like storefronts. All that stuff's going to be in here as well. We're gonna take care of all that stuff. Uh, but this is the royal forest. Uh, we will put a sawhorse like here on the edge. Maybe a couple of those. So they can chop trees down and all that. Um, we we'll need some ground storage. So they can toss their planks and put them wherever we need to go. They could go inside the house. Um, I'll set them, we got like a road here. We'll set them over here along the road, like that. Uh, and I think that's about it. There's this. There's the storefront, so they can sell their goods. So let's, you know, pop that in, like, I guess there is fine. Um, we'll also have, like, a town square and a market, a public area. We'll have a marketplace. We've got the warehouse already right here. Uh, here. Um, and there's loads of different things in here. When I played the game, the early version of this a long time ago, there was, like, eight things. And now we've got all kinds of stuff. There is a bowmaker workshop, which I guess is for, I don't know. Um, and I remember th a thing being talked about, like, for weapons and war and all that. Make these go away. Um, 
The next important thing, other than, uh, you know, walls for them, is my manor. So let's set up my manor here, uh, which is going to be not a household, but a manor, which is where me and the missus live. And we're going to live over here by this pond, just because that's the kind of people we are. And we'll set it up like... Um, like that. And we'll do, uh, you know, something a bit more regal than the peasants. Also a bit more symmetrical. Uh, and we'll have a nice, like, front door there. Yeah, there we go. We could also have... Actually, you know what? We're going to have a bit of an outside area also. Uh, like that. Okay. Uh, it'll make sense in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and put some walls in. Uh, I guess we're going to make them out of wood. And we're going to go something like... It's take a little while to build this thing because that's a lot of wood. Uh, in fact, I'm going to crank up the speed here. Let people get to work. Like that, and we'll put a door right in there. Wooden door right there. Uh, and then inside my house. So outside, I'll put some other things outside, like a well can go outside. Sure, right there. A nice well, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, the cauldron can probably go outside as well. Makes sense. Take a cauldron there. Most importantly, we need a bed. A noble bed, of course. Ooh, it takes silk for that noble bed? All right, that's fancy. Where's the front? Uh, I don't, oh, yeah, there's the front. So we'll say my bedroom is like, yeah, yeah, over... Uh, well, Junior needs a bed, doesn't he? Um, so we'll do that one, and we'll do a little bed for Junior here. Right over there. Um, there we go. So we'll get to work on that. Uh, these guys should be... Oh, did I not sign that to you? Oh, I didn't sign it. Okay, so this is this is the Marquettes own this place. And this is also owned by the Marquettes. Sorry, guys. I apologize for not giving you a place. Um, we've got enough supplies to sort of get them through the initial parts. At least we did in the tutorial. I hope we do now still. Um, I shouldn't have made this all out of hay because I don't have hay. I thought I did. Um, and in fact, I'm going to make a bigger field. So I'm going to... It's going to be just more of this. So I'm just going to edit this zone and just make a big field back here. Lots of hay. Like that. And it'll be just the same as that one, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll make sure this is assigned to uh, to these guys. There we go. Oh, it wasn't important. Okay, okay. Uh, and it's going to be wheat, correct? Yeah, lots of wheat. Because uh, it'll provide straw, provides uh, uh, um, wheat and flour, all, all that stuff. Um, animal feed if we need it to be. We'll also set up an animal spot over here. There's only two of them. When I did my, t my tutorial, there was like five people in, this, in my farming family. So they got things done. These guys, uh, not so much. And also, the fence is probably not necessary right now. Getting a little a little ahead of myself, I suppose. Let me just cancel those plans. We need that wood for other things. So we'll cancel all that. Yeah, none of that. Let them get to work on other things. Uh, they got the, uh, the the storage is done. The sawmill is up and running. They're going to go ahead and get to work doing the things. People are starving. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, now that they're here gathering, that should be better. Um... This is the like the, the warehouse, so people will grab stuff and put it in there. We can also tell them... Uh, hey, let's do a public area. Let's set that up right here. There's a market also we can do, but for shared goods, um, we can say that's going to be... Like out in front of my house, I think, would be the, where the public area would be. Like a nice like spot like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can put a well in there so people can use that. Uh, and a... Uh, ooh, a bench. Well, that's nice. Fireplace so they can cook if they need to. Um, we can put a marketplace over on this side. Over there. People still starving. Um, this is a sign to uh, me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, no family runs this one. It's just the uh, the market, which we can put storefronts in there. People can come and sell things. Um, if they have it, they can come sell things here. Um, I believe... Let's see. Do I have any food I can give? Oh, I do have tons of food. Okay, okay. I, th I seem to have forgotten something. Uh, so I want to make sure that everyone has... I can sell... Right? I can't. I will grant uh, 50 food to every family. There you go. You guys get you guys get 50, and you guys get 50. There you go. That wasn't a problem before, so hopefully that'll take care of that. Uh, they're getting work on their house. Uh, we do have a bit of straw that has come in. And this has not been marked yet, so i got to make sure we mark this as a farming soil spot. Um, I'm going to do like that. And then that, because we're going to need a couple things. We need a, a flailing spot, which is going to take this stuff and turn it into, I think it like, 
I don't know. I don't know. What the, I don't remember what the flailing spot does. Flailing the crops on the ground separates and filter the grains from plants. So you get grain versus the straw. There you go. Uh, we have butter churns, chicken feeders, chicken beds, all that stuff can be there. We do need some storage and probably a barrel. Oh, a silo. So that's what we need. Just get a, a silo in here. Maybe a couple of these. A couple silos there. And I think it's probably good. I probably could use a silo for over here also. Um, I think it's okay. They'll, they'll, they'll all share it. But I will give like a little bit of a... Um, Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, whoops. Okay, we'll just do that, I guess. Uh, and then over here, we can throw in... We'll need a silo just for the carrots. And we'll put one... Actually, I can I can do this where I can say... Uh, silo there, and then a silo there. Okay, so they, they can they have, they have a spot to toss their junk. There we go. Did they just tear all that stuff up because I, I did that? It did, didn't it? Ah. All right, so you are... Um, Wheat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they just harvested it. Possibly, but I don't think so. Alright, so the two of them are going to get... are going to work very, very slowly at that. Um, see, these poor guys don't have any walls yet. There are people in town. Uh, hunger, foraging... Yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay, so this is the public area over here. We can say put some flooring or whatever, but you know, it's just like... We just need more people to get much else done. Uh, I do have a lake over here, but I'm surprised I didn't start with a fisherman. Um, I guess I can. I guess I can still do it. Right, we can still have a fishing spot. I mean, the only really water spot is over here by my, behind my house. So let's just set this up. I'm not sure anyone's going to do it. Um, I suppose I could. Right, I can work. I suppose uh, we'll set this up as a as a fishing pool. Like that. Um, so they can do it, but they're busy. Uh, it has to be either one of them. It can't be me, I guess. Um, man, you guys are going to be so busy. Fine. You guys do it. Just like, you know, take care of it. Um, don't, not, you don't, make, you don't, don't do anything dumb. And don't, like, neglect the, the foraging. But I'll put a net in here also. Right there. So, so the Marquettes can take care of that. I'm going to go get that thing built real quick. Marquette. Yeah, there's Eva. Um, okay. A new family. Excellent. Excellent. A family of Harriet would like to come in. There's only two of them. Michael and Alice are a couple of Tanners. I would love to have you come in. Come on in, Tanners. Uh, in fact, now that we've got Tanners, uh, let's take a look at you. So, um, we have farmers, and the Harriets are, are good at tanning and cooking. Um, we probably should get an animal place now. And we can start getting some hand, some hides tanned. Um, I wonder if a better idea would be just having them do some fishing, though, actually. Let's change that real quick. You know, they can do the tanning as well. But for right now, for right now, you got to do something. You are now running the fishing, okay? You guys like to fish? I hope so. I'd put you next to my house, but it's going to be kind of smelly over there. So I don't know that I want to do that. Uh, I'll put your household in. You can be, you can have your house next to me, but your work is going to be a little different. So let's do something like that. There's only two of them, so it doesn't have to be too giant. We'll just do like that. You do need a lot of space, though. I I, I was way off whenever I was building this before. See, all this stuff has to go in there. I'll give you a bed. I think I have straw for this. Uh, there's only two of you, so I'm not going to worry about any of that. Um, and then you're going to need a tannery. Which isn't really a deal now, because I don't have any hides for you to tan. So, for right now, just take care of the fish. And then I'll be happy. Um, and if I'm happy, I might get you a um, uh, some walls. We do have 50 straw hanging around, so maybe we can get the Marquette some some houses. I was looking at some of the pictures on the, like, the Steam page, and, and uh, some pretty cool looking houses you can do here, uh, which is what which what brings up that that Stardew Valley thought of mine, um, where like I don't know. I don't know. It just comes. It comes to my mind for some reason. Uh, let me go and do some of this, and I'm gonna say you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a um, a storefront, and I think it's fine to put it here. I think you'll still use it correctly if I do this because you own that storefront, so you sell things there. Um, we could like put a fence out here and put some barrels and whatever storage. Could also go over here for them. 
which probably isn't a bad idea. Uh, we can do everything individually as well. Oh, yeah, I haven't put any roofs in either. Uh, floors also is a thing we can put in. Ooh, stone paving. Can I have a cheap stone? Limestone tile. Stone tile. Stone block. This is just hunks of stone for like a... Yeah, yeah, like a path. Not that I really have the time for this. But, you know. There we go. And then and then over here. And then go back to the... We got a road there for that, but... Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's nice. So whenever I... Whenever I... I um, play my, my test games. I, I go through and I... I dabble with the game a bit and kind of get my, my hang, uh, the hang of it to know what I'm doing. Um, I played this for uh, a very long time before I started <laughs> recording this. Just because I was kind of lost in it. Because it's it's kind of a slow burn. Like, there's not much going on right now. And it takes a little while to get things going. But once things start going, and you have the ability to start, like, decorating your houses. And putting in, um, well, like a windmill, you know, for one thing. And, and all the different furniture you can put in the other houses. And, and start actually getting some of these things done. Like the barrels and the chests and the and the tables and, and all that, then uh, it's addicting, and I, I I couldn't take myself away from it. Uh, the family of Verdun uh, want to join me. We have four people in this family. These are a bunch of miners who uh, does me no good at all. Excuse me, uh, Peter's a level three miner. Uh, Thefania is a level two miner. Uh, doesn't do me any good, but there's four people in that family, and they will learn other things. You know what? Mining, uh, nope. Uh, you're going to do something else. So I'm going to have you guys... Um, what do we need most? Probably a mill. But I don't need four people to do a mill. I could use another farming family, actually. Oh, you know what? I could use a, I could have a uh, an animal farming family. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. There's like a brewer's... Um, and they can always do more things, right? We could have, we could have a family that does farming, tanning, uh, butchery, all that kind of stuff. So I think we'll do that. So let me give them a house first. Household over here. Um, they can live over here by the other farmers. Over this way. So this is the the house. The house will be... There's four of them in this family. So it's going to be a little bigger. Uh, something like that. I'll put some beds and walls, you know, eventually. Um, and they're going to be doing farming for now. I'm going to put a big farm, which is going to be animal land. Something like that. We'll, we'll deal with that. The you know, this water, you know, uh, that and then the tanner and all that stuff we'll deal with once we get animals. Um, yeah, we'll have a butchery as well. They can do all that stuff. So uh, over here, we're going to say this is going to be a uh, spot. What's going to go in here? Uh, it's going to uh, limit how many animals going to go in there. We'll put in. I don't know how many can hold each spot. So I'm going to put in eight chickens. I don't know, four sheep and a couple cows. I guess I, I have no idea what fits in there. But they will go around and and. Uh, they will go fine. You may see them over here. There's animals just sort of wandering around the map. There's a pig right there. They'll go out there and they'll grab them uh, and, and bring them into the, the spot. Uh, I'm going to assign this to the new folks, the Verduns. Uh, and this is also going to be theirs. So, you guys like mining, huh? How do you like? How do you feel about mining animals? Because that's what's going to happen. Uh, they're going to want a bed, and there's four of them, so I'll give them a couple of double beds here. I think that's fine. Uh, we need them some walls. We're going to go with the hay walls here. Um, it's just a little crooked. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Like that. We'll put a door there. Okay, and there is their house. Uh, they're going to have a whole, like, shop and everything. Um, also, the these guys need... They have a storefront. They're going to need... Barrel, fish, fruits, and vegetables. Yeah, I'll give them a barrel. A couple barrels there that they can use. They have a storefront, and I think that's working fine. I believe so. Um, these guys are going to need, need one also. And I didn't put one for these guys, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. It's up there. Okay, uh, these guys don't have one, though. The fisher people. So let's get a fisherman spot. Um, storefront. I don't really want it to be back here. We can put it... Let's try something. I'm going to set it, like, right... I guess it's okay to put it there, I think. Um, I didn't quite catch this part of the uh, the tutorial. It said, like... Um, what did it say? It said that you could, like, have the, the, the point back where their house is, or where their working is, but it saves time. 
to have it with there, or you can put it in the marketplace so then they can run over there and do it. You know, you know, um, yeah. So I didn't quite catch what was going on there. Uh, do we have any wood or anything? We've got six wood in this place. We got two hundred pl uh, planks though. These guys are going crazy with the planks. Uh, can I put a plank floor in? Oh yeah, we can. So let's get some floors because it looks ridiculous around here. I like some floors in my house. Because I'm not a a, uh, a a villain. By the way, villain um, it means it stands for uh, villain spelled the way that this game spells it is like um, peasant basically in in old timey talk. So some of that, and uh, you guys could probably use some walls, I suppose. Let me give you some floors first because well, that's what you get. There you go. I'm gonna do that. I'll put something else over here. Uh, try to make it a little classier over here. So let's do some hay. And let's just go outside here. Like that. So we'll stick a door in like there. And we'll put one there. And then outside their house. You guys need a bed, don't you? Yeah. I never, get, I never give you a bed. Oops. Uh, pregnancy, what? Who, who's who's pregnant? Uh, she is. Excellent. So, oh, perfect. Because I need another. More farmers. Excellent. So the way this works is... Um, take a look at him here. The, uh, that was the, uh, for bo the, the free boys. They, so she's going to have a baby and the baby will, I, I, I think anyway, baby will be a farmer, uh, a farmer and cook. So the baby will like you, you are, you're born to a farmer. You will be a farmer for the rest of your life and their son will be a farmer and their son will be a farmer. Um, whether you like it or not. Uh, I do want to get... Oh, everyone needs a wooden block also in their in their house because it's going to make firewood for them. So we'll start doing some of that. Um, we'll just kind of s squeeze this stuff in here as we can. Um, it's not cold yet, but it's going to get cold and we'll have to start dealing with that. Um, I also need to get some food places. Uh, put a, I didn't put... I always forget to assign the family here. This is the um, Harriet's. I'm sorry, Harriet's. I'm just like the worst, aren't I? You guys are just like sleeping outside, aren't you? Well, you can get, you can claim that and then sleep in a bed out, outside. Okay, these guys seem to be doing all right. Uh, did you get that set yet? Have you gotten your, uh, have you gotten any animals yet? This is assigned to you. If you have, they have escaped. Uh, hey, some fishermen have joined us, and the family of five. Oh my, Gilbert and Simone. Yeah, I want you. Okay, so. I think what I'm going to do here, let's take a minute, because these guys over here, the Harriets, who I have abused all game, are going to now be probably doing something else. Um, maybe they will tan. I don't know. Um, but the the Corsis are going to run this now. Okay. Um, I can leave their house there, I guess. Um yeah, uh, I'll leave that there. Maybe the tanner should be doing the other stuff. I don't know. Maybe, I don't need five people to do a tanning job. Uh, let's expand this so they can grab all this stuff because there's five of them, right? There's going to be a lot of fishing. So no more food problems. So let's put a couple more fishing rods in here uh, or one more of those. We'll put another fishing nets, like, I don't know, there and there. Uh, and then we'll give them a house. So we'll mark off a big spot with these guys. Big house for the, uh, for the Corsis. There you go. I need some walls for you. I don't know why you get walls before everyone else. You're just lucky, I guess. Oops. Like that. I need a door to go there. I need to remove those. Okay. And then you guys need to claim this for the courses. Okay. Uh, Harriet, you guys have no job now, so I gotta find something for you to do. What is necessary? I could probably have you do things like, um, we could use some millers. They want to tan. I guess I can, I can let them tan, I suppose, because we do have this going on. And so they can raise the animals and butcher them and then we'll let them tan them. That seems reasonable. And they can run, maybe run the leather workshop if there's enough of them. We'll just have them do tanning for right now. Uh, not, not in front of my house though. Let's go like over here and just, I'm not sure how big that needs to be. We'll, we'll assign it to the Harriets. Yep. Yep. And then, what do, you, what do you need here? A tanning pit. Okay. Let's do one of each for right now. A tanning log. A scraping log. 
because it all sounded pretty nasty. A stretching frame. And uh, a storefront. Yeah, yeah. So if you get some hides, you're welcome to do whatever business you want with them. Uh, there was, what, five people in this family? In case they have any babies. Let's do that. Um, now, a thing I'm going to have to get... Yeah, I was starting to talk about this was a cooking table. People need to cook. So let's go ahead and start getting some of those set up. Set up like a kitchen over here. Um, eventually we'll get some set up for everybody. Um, I need a kitchen as well. We're just low on materials right now. I almost think I should have a second forager family. That, that's like the one that we need most because there's just no wood coming in. These these Marquettes are just a bunch of slackers. I think is the problem. I'm pretty sure that's the problem. Um, let's see. There's five of you over here, right? Have you have you captured any animals yet? Have you done anything right? I suppose you probably need a fence. So I'll get you a fence. This costs one wood. I've got planks. Brick walls. Um, put a wooden fence in. I don't know if they're capturing them. I don't think so. It would say animal tamed over here. They may not be able to do it because they don't, because they're not, you know, animal people. It's possible. It's also possible there's not a place for them. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have it set up right though. Animals, yeah, it's set up right. Okay, um, they're gonna need. Uh, they will need a like a, uh, you know, chicken beds and things. And uh, definitely, they'll need a feeder like that. Uh, and that's all we're gonna do for right now. We'll, they'll need a storefront, but I'll put storefront in their house, I suppose. Is that okay. I'll set it right here, and we'll do like this. There we go. So they can, you know, all that. Um, all right, so let's see how this goes. Um, I'm curious about my farmers. You're not, you are good at farming. I wonder if I should have, oh, hey, a butcher showed up. Uh, yeah, I'll take you, Jasper and Rohesia, but I don't really have, um, I guess I could use a small butcher family over here for when these animals start coming in, if if these animals start coming in. Um, they're not planting this one either, are they? It's just not enough of them. Um, what if... Let's try something real quick. What if this belonged to the new people? These are the, the droves. I'll get you some butchery business in a minute, but, you know, for right now, I could really much rather use you somewhere else. There's a house for you. It now owns... Uh, belongs to uh, you... I want, I want 10 cents per day paid, please. And I'm going to give you uh, lime wall. I don't really have anything. Yeah, we don't have anything. No no walls yet. Just You just wait. We'll get you some walls. I probably should go easy on the, uh, on the uh, bringing people in. Okay, yeah. We know how tanning works. Cooking, of course. Uh, firewood. And that's why I put the blocks in. People can make some firewood themselves. And then they can cook some stuff. These one people have the cooking stoves. I do need to get also report from the king. Oh, okay, okay. What else we got in here? Villager booked. Uh, oh, not that one. Uh, I want to look. So this is the warehouse menu. So we can give, we can grant things to people if they need it. We'll see if people start starving. We'll give them some food. Um, these guys are just standing around, aren't they? What's wrong with you guys? Of course, he assigned fishing. Why aren't you doing it? Um, why are they over here doing it? Oh, you know what? I think I might know. So, let me make sure that we grant some yarn to the Corsis. This is in the tutorial. Give me some yarn. I'll give you, like, I don't know, a silk. Um, you can have a couple meals. You can have those five planks also. Okay. They want, they want straw, they want clothes, they want yarn. Uh, I can give you a little bit of straw. There you go. Just grant you some straw. They can also go to the go to here. And I guess it sort of all runs on its own, the whole marketplace. That thing. All happens on their own. And yeah, now they're actually doing it, aren't they? They toss some supplies in there anyway. 
So hopefully they get to work on this. Oh, yeah, there they go. They're fishing now. Oh, they put a fishing pole in anyway. I didn't have that in there because I didn't have any... I forgot to put in... Uh, that. Uh, a family of mine are seven people. One of mine. But I... I um... I'm going to say no right now. I'm, I'm, I wonder if I should have brought them in. I should have just made them the farmers. This doesn't seem to be work. Well, they did, did you get a sheep? Is that my sheep? Did you do it, buddy? Wandering around. Huh. Do a lot of that. Um, if I could get... Oh, you know what? I should, I should have taken them in because I should have taken, like, a, a big forager group, I think. Like, that would have been That would have been better. So, anyway, uh, this has been a long video. And, uh, well, not really, I guess. But uh, I'm going to call it a day here. And I will probably be streaming some more of this later on. Um, because I'm really into this one. And, again, it takes a little while to get going. And usually on the ones that take a while to get going, I, I, I prefer to stream just because, well, it takes a while to get going. Um, so, uh, anyway, we're called a day here. So you can get an idea of what's going on with the game. And uh, there will be a stream at some point with this thing. So, anyway, thanks again for watching. People are going to go to the general area, grab some food, and all that. And I'll see you next time.